Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is part 4 of this video series. Uh, in the last part, we just created a Windows uh, server, uh, Windows EC2 instance and uh, we connected to the Windows server through the RDP. And now in this application, we will be going to deploy our first web application in EC2 server. So let's start this. So in the previous part, we have seen that how can we go to the remote and connect uh, to the server. So I will be going to my EC2 instance like uh, this one instance I just created in the previous video. So if you are not familiar with this, that how can we create this? So please watch the previous video and then come back. So I'm going to connect this again. All right, so I have connected to the server EC2 instance. And now before deploying your site, you need to configure the few things. First, you will have to go to the server manager dashboard and click on the manage add role and feature. So you need to complete this installation. Like uh, we have to enable the, some Windows uh, feature uh, so you can directly come here and if uh, you have another option you just go to the start button and type windows feature turn on or off so it will open this dialog box so this is you have a two options you can directly whatever you select whatever you are comfortable with so in the first thing you need to select role base or feature based installation click on the next this is the server rule and uh, let's this checkbox radio button selected click next so I have uh, checked DNS server and file storage and this is the web server which I checked in that I have checked all the things it was I think pre-checked and for now I did not check any FTP server check for now next and f in the feature I have selected .NET 3.5 and 4.8 so make sure you have checked all these things you can have a look otherwise your site will not be running after the deployment and in the application development I selected all these things .NET extensibility 3.5 4.8 ASP installed 3.5 and 4.8 and now let's click on the next feature <coughs> I have already installed you just have to click next next and click on the install so once your installation is done the next step is to go to the IAS manager and add a new site. So I'm going to add a website and let's name it as a test application dash staging. And here we'll have to provide a physical path. So I have created a folder of the sites and Let's create a folder. Okay, and this site will be testing application. Let's name this uh, the testing application and dash 4.8 framework. It's fine. So let's come back here and provide the physical path. C <clears throat> in the C we have a folder site. Inside we have testing 4.8 and if I select the type HTTPS I will have to provide the SSL certificate for now I'm not going to use uh, don't have any SSL. so let's keep this HTTP and IP addresses this one and port is 80 let's click on the OK so your site is ready now but uh, the physical path is empty we will have to copy the build here manually so let's come back here and uh, go to the web application so this is my web application with the dotnet framework we are going to deploy this application with the 
uh, .NET Framework 4. Point, and this is 4.5 Framework. We can make it as a 4.8. This won't make any difference. Let's upgrade this to the 4.8 and let's rebuild the solution. Uh, we know that this is the home page. Let's change a few line in this ASP.NET write code with Salman. Subscribe. Okay, now it's time to create a build. Just right click on this project. Click on the publish. Okay, I'm getting some error. System could not be found. Are you missing? Let me check. Okay, the error has gone. Let's click on the publish. In the publish, I have uh, selected the target location. So the build will be saved here in this folder. Let's click on the publish button. So, all right, so the build is created in this folder. Let's go to this folder. So we have the build here. Let's copy and come here and let's paste this here. Right, so the build has been copied to the target location. Let's restart this application and click on the browse. Here we go. So you can have a look that this application is deployed. So application name, I just changed this text code with Salman and now it's time to check that this, we can uh, access this web application outside this network. So for this one, we will have to go to the EC2 and this is the public DNS. Let's copy this. So you can access this application outside the network through the this public DNS. So you can have a look, this application is working. So we have deployed a uh, first uh, .NET application successfully on EC2. So I hope this video uh, helpful to you. If you really, uh, if you think that this video is helpful, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Take care. Love is.